Hello, it's Sarah, and I am, I just got a package. I'm totally um, going to be painting, you guys, so, oh, all my decorative painters out there be looking, because my husband goes crazy at Christmas time with the lights, so he is kind of a techie guy, and he has done all our Christmas lights for the house, like with LED lights that like can dance to the music and stuff. Anywho, um, our porch, we have a big like porch out front that's a covered porch and um, it's just been kind of plain in the, like the past, I would say five years he's been going crazy like this. So I thought this year I got to put something out there um, because at Halloween I put all my painted Halloween stuff and it just looks so cute so I went in the, down the basement and gathered up some items um, this is something I just ordered and I'll show you that in a second um, I found this which actually goes with another plaque let me see if I'm all right I'm up all the way um, it goes with another plaque I think there were penguins on it and it just says happy holiday and it was a little dusty, but like I, wa I wiped it off pretty good. And I think I could hang that somewhere, like maybe from above the doorway or something. Um, because I was um, really fully into decorative painting for years, I went to convention a lot. In a convention, they have trade shows. And I don't know if anybody has ever been to a bead fest or any type of a crafting convention. The trade shows are like... They're like heaven. They are. They're like heaven. Um, and I've bought a lot of stuff, and it got better as I went. I stopped buying as much stuff, but I still have a ton of stuff. So I have this sleigh, and it's got like, I mean, my, ba my basement is only half finished, so it gets a little damp down there. So I just, like this doesn't even smell or anything. I just have to sand it, and I think it'll be perfectly fine. And I'm going to put a pattern on here from one of these books I have. It's by Renee Mullen. So I have a sleigh and I found um, one of you guys sent me these wood and stuff. So I, I just grabbed these and I might wood burn them because I've definitely been thinking about burning again because it's such an easy way to, I'll show you a project. It's all done. I, um, I shaded it. And then I have this uh, cute shovel and this looks like wood shovel. I don't know. I want to, I might have gotten this at AC Moore years ago. So, and this was in pretty good shape too. I mean, it's a little dusty and I'll have to sand it a little bit. But, um, a couple of the patterns from these books I'm going to show you, um, will go on those two pieces for sure. So I'm going to, now this is, listen, we're already, what is it? November 10th. Holy cow. Now this was um, a design that I saw on the plaid website for a burnt, see I think I can do it on here. See this is probably what's going to go on here. It's just, a, oh, all right I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Um, phone rang. See that's the thing, like I have so much I want to do still, but I don't have time anymore. Like I keep getting interrupted, like I had to babysit my nephew for two days like he's very you have to do everything he wants he's five anyway um <laughs> this would look so cute i just saw it on the plaid um so i'm gonna do this i really want to do this i just think it's adorable and i also have another piece of wood that uh, i got at ikea that i thought i have to figure something out to go on there but it's hard see that's why decorative painting so let me get back to that decorative painting is so great because this, these particular pattern packets are by Renee Mullins, okay? Renee Mullins. She sits down, creates this little guy. So I'm going to do this one for you guys on camera. It's called Santa Porch Greeter. It's number 632. And if you go to Plum Purdy Designs, I'm pretty sure it's called. I'll put the, um, her, the website in the description box. This is a pattern packet, so what you'll have to get is the pattern packet and the wood, okay? So this is actually the wood for two things because I got two porch greeters. I got the Santa and I got the little 
girl elf porch greeter, which there's a boy elf too, but I wanted a girl elf, and um, I'll probably end up getting the boy elf, but I don't know, I guess they're about three feet high, and most of the wood is included in the kit. I think um, like the head and the sign and the hands and maybe the feet or something, but then we ju you just have to provide this piece of wood which it's like a two by four, it says it in the um, direction. So I'm going to be creating this um, on my channel. So those of you who do decorative painting, uh, bookmark it. I don't know. Look for it. Okay. Look for it. So here's what it says. It says additional supplies, a piece of pine board one by six wide, and a four inch long quarter inch Baltic birch plywood um, and wood glue. So I don't know what that's for. And here's the thing. You don't have to do anything she says here. You can use what you have. You can do whatever. But this is just the supplies that she used, right? Um, because I substitute a lot uh, with when it comes to paint colors because she's going to put um, the colors of paint that she uses. Let's see. That's odd because generally it would list the paint colors. Well, so here's how it, it just shows you what you're going to need to do to create the bottom. So this is the one piece of wood that she, because it's for shipping, because it was too expensive to ship like with that heavy piece of wood. So um, it looks pretty self-explanatory. I will do this as well on camera when we assemble everything. All right. So if you want to do it along with me. I just want to look on here and see if it has a list of paint colors. I am so surprised. You know what? I'll bet you it's on this. Ha ha. I knew it. So here's the list of paint colors. The, she uses DecoArt Americana colors. So let's see. This is it. DecoArt Americana. Those are craft paints that you get at the craft store. Um, so I will go through here and I'll pull all these paints. I'll get a little basket and go through and look for if I have them and check them off if I have them and if I don't have them I'll see if I have a substitute which means either another um, company so this a similar color by the same uh, by a different company and if not then I'll write it down and I'll go buy it but because I've painted for years I have so much paint and so many different colors that I like Williamsburg blue you don't I mean who cares if it's Williamsburg blue or, you know, sky blue or whatever blue you want to put. And I might not put ho, ho, ho either. I might put welcome or Merry Christmas or something. I think I might put welcome. Um, and I might just use a stencil or something like that. So that's what I love about decorative painting. I started to say that is you don't have to think too much because Renee has done it all for us. So, um, I'm just throwing it out there that if you guys want to participate, um, I will be doing this. Let's see. Okay, she lists the brushes. So it tells you what kind of brushes she uses. And again, I personally love using an angle brush to float, and so may she. And it has filberts or for base coating. I use flats for base coating. So it's what your favorite brushes are. She does use a stencil brush for probably the ho 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 and I happen to have a stencil brush but you can stencil with a sponge so you don't need everything right away you know you can make do and and definitely have a very beautiful piece um, by the time you're done now the other thing that I don't see here it is so you're gonna get your design so Renee has designed a pattern so this is how big he's going to be. So his little head goes that big. So here, let me see the wood. These little pieces of wood are awesome because they're cut like laser cut. Ugh. I have a, it's all in a bag of, um, hold on, I got it. So this looks like the Santa. See, so here's the Santa shape. And I'll show you how I will prep the wood and then we will paint and then you'll trace on the pattern onto the wood and here's the little elf girl 
so cute. And I think it was it wasn't very much. Let's see. Okay, here's the um the bill. So the Santa Porch Greeter Wood Kit is $15.99. So I don't think you could buy a little shelf greeter thing, even maybe at the Christmas tree shops, but mine's gonna be so much cuter. Like they might have these that you can get at the Christmas tree shops, Christmas tree shop shops, but Mine's going to be handmade and so cute and fun. So I get the fun of making it too. And the little elf girl, it was $14.99. And then the pattern packets were $9.50. So this little thing right here with all your instructions, two pictures, which is awesome. Because then you can look at this as a reference when you're painting. So you can't go wrong. So if you can afford what? It's $15, $25 bucks you would pay for this. Um, and I think it's worth it and I'll be using it for years to come. Uh, and then she definitely, um, suggested a, um, a non-yellowing varnish and I would specifically use as well an exterior varnish, even though it'll be on a covered porch, just in case, cause it, it can get moist out there. And then here's, um, the holly and some stars, but you could just use a star stencil as well. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is the Ho Ho Ho, so she didn't use a stencil. But I would probably just find a stencil. This is the little gloves. So let's see. So you would just trace this on here. So the wood is like that. And I will do this all right along with you. It is super easy. Probably going to need some wood sealer and things. But anyway, those of you who are going to do this, if you order the kit, it comes pretty quick. Uh, so go ahead and order your kit if you want to. I'll start working on mine and the videos will be up there for you and you'll have them and you'll be able to make a little. I'm so excited. So look, this is the little elf girl's feet and this is a little bit thicker wood, see? So the stand is going to be a thicker wood and that's why she didn't want to um, send it because I think this is probably like the stand like this for the elf girl and then you would just glue on well we'll probably I'll get Joe to help me I don't know maybe I'll do it myself I'm not sure um so and then this is another part this looks like probably part of the Santa Yeah, this is like his little, the little base. It kind of almost looks like he's standing in snow. It would have been cute. Like you could just see that color that she used matches the gloves, which I like that color, but I kind of like, I would like it a little whiter. So when I'm doing them, I don't know. And I like red gloves. I don't know. See, that's the thing. You can just change it. I'll do it exactly how they do it on here because I don't want to think. But this has like a little bit of a, like a rolliness to it. So this is the base for the Santa. And then we're just going to um, do that, this part, or whatever, wherever it was, how you hook up the little other piece we're going to buy, wherever it is. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. I'm excited about it, and I'm going to probably be working on that. I can't talk today. My words are like, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, look, and here's little buttons. Little buttons, one, two, three buttons for his little jacket maybe um i wanted to show you something so i had these in the basement too these little candle holders and i definitely didn't get these at like michael's or anything these were at a trade show but i've had them forever and i thought i could just paint these and put these on the porch um so i have a few things that i'm really excited to do and now it just depends how much i get done before christmas because you know time is not we can't you know there's not enough time to do it all but I'll just work on them maybe I'll work on them um, all through January too and just have them ready for next year but you know me I may um, get bored with painting and um, move on to the next thing plus I really want to do that wood burning project so look I just um, I just started going to Al-Anon but look what I did I made this little book cover so this is actually just a fat quarter 
Do you know what I mean? Like you go in the um, fabric store and these are just like all over by the side in my Joann's and they're just like this and they're just like that and you just buy it. And I have a bunch of these and I just picked this one. It's like, I think this is called um, Batik and I had um, cross, not even cross stitch, this little bookworm. So I made a pocket and I used this fabric fusion it's Aileen's and I saw a video on YouTube about this because I just put in no sew book cover so I went and got this it was like four bucks and I used the coupon so I went and got that and basically you just make a book cover oops it is all my stuff is falling out but I also put uh, a pocket so let's see if I can show you Something's going on in here. I must have, uh, the tape must overlap. Yeah, like the tape. So basically it's a two-sided tape. And I just folded the fabric and glued it down and glued it down. And then you just measure. And the, the way you put the tape in, it like, you use the flap as the part that goes on the book. So I don't know. I like it. So then you just go... So you're basically just using the inside of the flap. So that's why the um, the tape doesn't touch the book. I just like to go like this. But I liked it a lot because of the pocket. Because I definitely like to bring my little um, highlighter and my pen pencil that Shirley got me. So you just kind of make a little pocket and I put my little guy and then I can be ready to go. I love it. Anyway, so I did that. I didn't film it. And then I was just going to show you, I wanted to show you this. I ended up, this is the project that I wood burned and I really love this. And I would love to find other pieces of wood like this. This wood actually burnt really good. So this was a piece that I got from the dollar bins at Michael's. It has a drawer that comes with it. And I like this wood. It burned really nice. And the one thing I didn't do though first was to seal it, which I probably should have before because I was going to paint it, but because it still feels, it just feels rough. But anyway, this is going to be our um, October art journal page because I have to do that too. I'm going to do that this week. So I have a lot on my plate. But I'm going to get it done because I thought this is just such a simple design. We'll just do this. Maybe we'll do a little faux finish in the background and just make a little fall scene for October because we're already into November and then December. And then our art journal is done for 2018. So that's amazing. Um, but this is wood burning and then I just painted it and then I ended up going back and shading everything which is my style and I love it so um, just a little bit like you can see where I shaded in the darker areas behind things this one's so pretty like I put dark up against the house up against the background stuff you can tell and this one I definitely lightened up my blue I didn't like that it was really really dark so I went white on the tops of all the water and I really like how that turned out isn't it cute like can't you picture this as a like a, a frame or something I can't wait I'm gonna play around with that more so maybe that'll be more next year I'll get back into that um, let me go back up because I just want to show you so the other thing that you might find at the Plum Purdy website is her books for sale so these are just some that I have. This one's called Mini Seasons Volume 3, Mini Seasons Volume 2, and Mini Seasons Volume 6. And each book has different um, substrates, so different things to paint on. I did end up buying this little thing, and I never used it. So the metal frame, and it's a canvas that you can change out for the different seasons. And I've just never done it. I think I painted one of the um, designs, but I never, um, I don't know, I don't know where it is. 
So there are several different, and here's what you do. You look through and you, she has all these patterns that you could put on something and create your own little thing, right? And I could even wood burn that. I could do use one of these patterns and wood burn it. She puts little bonus patterns too, like this little thing. It says an extra line drawing. There's just like a corn cob with a bird. Um, this is a little extra couple of sheep that would go with your nativity. So here's summer, um, a flower garden one. These are all the seasons. I must have paint. I painted one of these. I know I painted something. So, but this is how big they are. So I thought, so here's the snowman. I thought this would fit either on that. It'll definitely, eh, I think it might be too, I could make it work on the sleigh. I could definitely make one of them work on the sleigh. And even for this um, shovel, I think I could make it work. I think the snowman would look so cute on this because it's a snow shovel, right? And it fits. So I think I might do him on here. And then I'll just have to figure out what colors to paint the rest of the, um, the shovel handle and all that stuff. But that's the thing. So once you have her line work and all the directions are in here, so there's spring, summer, fall, winter, autumn, just random ones, Halloween, so cute, Thanksgiving. Oh, I like the Thanksgiving one. You know what else I had that this would fit on? Anyway, there's a Santa. So I have that, but then this is the one I think I want to put on the sled. This little elf guy, I just think he's adorable. And because I have the girl elf greeter, I was going to do this little boy elf on here. So I would have the girl elf greeter and then him painted on here because he's small. I already traced him. And actually, she puts him on a, um, so this is the tracing. I just think it would look super cute. I don't know. I may blow it up a tiny bit, but maybe not. I could blow it up a little bit. Um, then you have the two of them. That's so cute. But she puts them on. It's like one of those um, clothes pins, the big clothes pins. So you could cut this out of a piece of wood. Like I could even use, like if you just go to Michael's and you get something like this, you could I could cut it on my bandsaw because I have one. So I would just trace out the design. And then you could glue it. And, and she sells it though. See, she sells a lot of this these wooden things that because then you could trade change out the different seasons like every season put a different um little plaque oh my gosh the house oh those are bird houses so spring summer fall winter anyway um but i definitely think i might i like him a lot and i think i'm gonna put him on here and then i'll put a snowman on the other one so because i really love him i just think he's adorable but i'm gonna do that i'm gonna wood burn that and then she definitely has tons of ornaments and i've done ornaments before um from her line see like these little things i'm sure they have she has this thing and you can interchange all the different things like there's a valentine's look how cute welcome see that would look so cute on here too it just depends how big it is let's see if it says what page it's on oh they're kind of small i think they're small it depends oh no it might be bigger because that's a big santa here's the here's the big snowman Oh, I like that one too because it has like a little birdie, a couple birdies. I think I could put that. I don't know. It depends. But anyway, so have a look. Go over. Her patterns, I'm just, I'm recommending this because her, her work is super cute, first of all. Like I don't tend to buy it if I don't fall in love with the actual images. They're cutesy, but to me, they're really I love them. So they're my style. I like this style. Um, and it might not be your style. So that being said, I recommend it because it's also, the books are very well written. The way she explains everything. She has um, in the front, there are descriptions of each technique. So shading and highlighting, tracing and transferring, staining, base coat, 
dry brush, stipple. So these are all techniques that I'm going to show you how I do it, but she also describes it really well in here. So when you go and you are, when she says shade this or float that or whatever, stipple here, you have a reference. So that's what I like about it. All right, I think that's it. That was a lot, you guys. But I'm excited. I get excited. This is fun. Now, the thing is, I could just order this online and never do anything with it. And it would just sit downstairs in the basement. But uh, this is happening. So this is going to be getting prepped, like, probably today. Um, well, Maya's here. She's out with the guys right now because I went for my walk. But um, and I feel like I'm getting a little cold. But I will start prepping this, and I will film it. I'll show you each step of the way, how I'm going to create this little Santa. What is he called? A porch greeter. So, all right, you guys, that's it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.